join us. Hey folks, welcome back to another Star Wars Black Series video. We're looking at a bit of a custom I've done. Um, yesterday I did a review of the new Mace Windu and 187th Legion Clone Trooper pack um, and sort of showed some comparisons with uh, Mace Windu and I've mentioned my custom Plo Koon. Um, so I thought we'd just take a look at it today. Um, it was quite a simple one. I did have an extra Plo and I had an extra clone, which I obviously had to sacrifice to make this one. Um, and I had a spare Mando cape. So, you know, just to add something a little bit different, you know, there were some figures from 2003, which were, were from the Clone Wars, and there were sort of live-action versions of, of some of the Jedi, um, and, you know, Sacy Teen had a horn cut off, and, you know, they all looked a little bit war-beaten and stuff like that, and they weren't sort of dressed in their traditional robes, I'll flash up some photos if I, if I can find some, um, just to sort of explain what I mean. So I took a little bit of inspiration from those style figures for this one. Um, and basically, I took the the lower arm of the clone from the elbow. So I did have... It's an older one. It's not one of the new ones. Um, well, I guess it is one of the second ones, <laughs> just because it doesn't have the pins in the joints. Um, so I was able to just sort of do the boil and pop and swap out Plo Koon's arms and be able to lodge them in. So yeah, it's not as... Um, it's not as clean as, you know, this one here where the, the gauntlet sort of stops halfway up and, and then goes under the sleeve of the Jedi robe. Um, but yeah, it, it still works for me. It's almost like, yeah, he's sort of just cut the sleeves off. He's wearing the, the sort of the undersuit as well. Um, so I sort of went with that idea. You know, they all don't look the same. Um, I, I dare say when Hasbro do get around to doing Plo Koon, and I, I think they will. I think we'll see it with this arm instead. But um, yeah, it's kind of kind of a no-brainer to put one out, you know, with a Wolfpack Trooper. Some slight retooling, whether they uh, decide to go as far as I did with the hands and um, actually used an X-Acto knife to sort of slice off the sort of armor piece, which it kind of is a separate part. It's a soft rubber that's sort of been stuck onto the hand. So it wasn't too difficult. I did take my time with it. Um, and yeah, just sort of glued that onto the hand. I did attempt to sort of paint the hand. So he was like wearing the gloves, wearing the black gloves, but I, I just didn't like the look. I liked that he just sort of had that sort of armor piece sort of strapped onto the hand. So I didn't go ahead and paint paint the hand anymore. Um, and I did I did sort of clean that off as I just yeah, I didn't like the look as much. Um, particularly with the joint. Um, yeah, it just wasn't as clean as I as I wanted it to be. As if you used to wear like the wear the gloves, which you know sort of Plo Koon does if you look at some of the other animated style Plo Koon Clone Wars figures. Um, but yeah, there is, there is a seller online that does like water slide decals. I can't think of the name. Um, but it is my goal at one point to get Plo Koon's correct, um, thing in a water slide decal so I can put that on his arm. It's not, they're not, you know, it's not the end of the world if I don't end up doing it. But, um, yeah, I just, I just really like have it, you know, Plo Koon is my favorite Jedi. So I just wanted to have... A Clone Wars representation of Plo to sit up there alongside, you know, now Mace, Obi Wan, Anakin, Ahsoka, in one way, shape, form, or another. So, yeah, just a just a quickie for you today, guys. Um, if you want to take a look at my review from yesterday on these two figures, Mace and the One Eighty Seventh Legion, you go back and take a look. I'll make sure there's a link. At the end of the video, um, but yeah, this is a nice, easy run through. Just sort of what I did. It wasn't hard work. Um, yeah, I've just got that sort of cape, blue tack down, just so it sort of sits, sort of nicely. Just gives him a little bit extra. Like I said, from those from those other figures from 03, the sort of realistic Clone Wars figures before the Clone Wars was truly realised. We knew sort of a little bit more later in later years what it was going to become. 
I guess sort of by 03 it started to take shape in terms of the Tartakovsky series, but, you know, those figures were very sort of idealistic and, you know, they were, they were really cool. So that is my inspiration for this um, with a mix of, you know, 2008 Clone Wars. But, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed checking this one out. I don't often do these kind of videos, so it's just something else I wanted to do. I've been meaning to do it for a little while, so... I hope you enjoyed it. All right, folks. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. May the force be with you always.